Then, we're going to Walter Mart, then Walter Mart to Turbina, then Tur Turbina to Bicol. And we waited for so long. Okay? We, waiting, we waited for so long for a bus who has the availab available seat for us. We are seven of us. Plus one, okay? So eight probably. But then they were all full. Okay? We are expecting seats so that we can sit. But then we found none. They were all full because it's holiday. Christmas break. It's already nine o'clock in the evening. And yet, we cannot decide what to do to get there early in the morning. So it's been a great challenge to stand throughout the night just to be there in the morning. So it's been a great challenge standing for almost 10 hours inside the bus. Just only 10 hours. Can you imagine it, brothers and sisters, you know, as well as the girls who, as, who were with us? They, they stand for almost 10 hours just to get there, okay? So, even the girls had to stand all night long just to get there. Well, if you are really willing to do God's work, no one, no things, not even hard circumstances could stop you. Do you agree with me? Can you say amen for that? Okay. As we are standing on the promises, that time has come for us to experience, to sit. But then, after 10 minutes, we're already in the super leanest, or I should say super lines terminal. After 10 hours, almost 10 hours, standing inside the bus. In that day, we started our voice tribute, even though we are still tired. We still continue our first night, for we had only less than two weeks to stay there. Within those days, it always rained. It is raining night after night and day after day. Maybe you are thinking because of that, there will be a few to attend the nightly meetings, right? Yes, we also think the same. But we had seen the power and the, the influence of the Holy Spirit moving in their hearts and minds in that place. Because every night, there were not less than 30 or 40 non-7-day Adventists who is attending. The number even grew night after night as they invited their new friends to attend our meetings. There were 300, uh, 132 all in all in our attendance list of the persons who had attended. Of course, we had something for them, a prize I should say for those people who had invited their new friends. You know, brothers and sisters, the brethren, our brethren in SDA Diet Bicol, they were not that rich. They were just a simple individuals in their place. But I cannot imagine how was the blessing of the Lord was given to us through them. Compared to the other groups of boys of youth, we were not lacking anything, especially our food and financial needs. We had still our food for the next two days, and it seems that blessing after blessings, it's a blessings like a raindrops. Hindi na nga namin maubos yung binigay eh. Kahit napauwi na kami ay meron pa rin pabaon. There were always a question in my mind, Lord, saan galing itong mga blessing na ito? Grabe, super, ang dami. Maging pagkain yung pangailangan sa children's ministry andon. And then they always answer my question like this. If this is the work of the Lord, He will provide. Okay? They were not rich. Okay? Probably they're almost poor. But then they provided our needs. We had still our, uh, so many foods. We cannot even eat all of that as we stay there. We even afforded to cook for the nightly attendees of our meetings with some sopas together with matching salabat. Ayos. My eyes were opened and gained an understanding. Okay? That was the answer for my question for why so many blessings that we receive in our team. From children's ministry, serenading, from house to house visitation, up to the nightly meetings, they were all there. It is a heartwarming experience to work together with this kind of people who is active in doing God's work. Not only sitting pretty in their comfort zone, but having the desire to spread the message of God. 
So after those days we had stayed there, God had rewarded our works and efforts in leading 16 souls to the Lord. It is not because of our own capabilities or in our own abilities, but it is through the power of the Holy Spirit who is moving in their hearts and minds. And because of that, we've been an inspiration for them to continue doing God's work in their own place because it is the first time they had conducted voice tribute in their own place at Roseville Tree Subdivision. They are conducting crusade from one place to another, but they cannot imagine the result after the voice tribute there. They say, doon pa tayo nagahanap sa malayo, naandito din naman pala sa atin. So friends, what a joy when we all work for the Lord. It is the genuine joy and happiness that you can experience in your life. So if you are looking for a true happiness or true joy in your life, it can experience with the Lord. So for you who can hear my voice, you who are you are all welcome to join us for this Voice of Butte. For in Voice of Butte, we are one big happy family. May we all use our God-given spiritual gift in doing His work while we are still living in this sinful world to seek and to save which was lost. According to Sons and Daughters of God, page 226, what you need is a living experience in the things of God and simplicity in presenting the love of Christ to the lost. May we all be blessed and inspired after hearing God's wonderful works through Voice of Youth. Once again, happy Sabbath to everyone.